this is Nina from Body Alive, Body Aware, and I want to wish you a happy new year. It's the first day of 2010, and I am here in beautiful Sanibel Island in Florida on my last day of my vacation. And today I want to share with you my favorite green smoothie recipe. There are many, many ways to make green smoothies. This is my favorite. And it's important if you're making green smoothies every day to kind of mix it up. But this is the one I come back to often. It's smooth and it's refreshing. So let's get started. What I put is two cups of water in my Vitamix. My Vitamix is my preferred blender, my preferred everything. It's more than a blender. It does, it makes ice cream out of frozen fruit. It's an unbelievable machine. Anyway, then I put a good handful of spinach in and about a half of a big um, stalk of celery. Now today I'm making you enough for one person to sip half the day. I usually make double this amount and sip it all day long. Um, but this will get you started and give you a sense of what it's like half of a uh, organic cucumber you'll notice the skin is on so when it's organic I leave the skin on because the skin is loaded with nutrients that you want and then one of the things that I love about this smoothie is the combination of the parsley and the lemon the two together the contrast is wonderful then in the lemon with the lemon I take the skin right off this lemon, I feel particularly fortunate, was picked off of a tree right by here. It's a Meyer lemon. Oh, it's heaven. Lemons are my happy smell. So that goes in. We've got the banana. We've got the... Oh, we don't have the banana yet. Here's the <laughs> banana. Half a banana. Half a banana goes in. If you need it smoother, put in a whole banana. Um, and then you'll find with green smoothies, they tend to reduce your sugar craving over time and you'll need less fruit in it. So that's it. Banana, lemon, parsley, cucumber, celery, spinach, and water. And that's it. And you can mix it up too. If you don't have spinach, I often put baby bok choy or regular bok choy. That also gives it the smoothness that I like. Alright, it's going to get noisy for about 10 seconds and then we'll have a delicious That's it. If I wasn't doing it for you, I might let it go for another 10 seconds to be really super smooth. But already, you'll see, even in that time, it's beautiful, it's frothy, it's a gorgeous green color, it's refreshing, it's going to give me energy for the whole day. So I encourage you to make green smoothies, and I wish you a very happy new year, full of health, vitality, lots of green smoothies.